Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video, I will discuss that how we can integrate the Taguchi and response surface methodology. So first of all, we have to make a Taguchi design. Go to Stat, DOE, Taguchi, create a Taguchi design. I will go for the mixed level design with six factors. Then click on the design. In this way, at this step, you will get numerous options and you will select the one that suits your research work like the first option in which there is one factor having four levels and five factors having two levels likewise in this four factor four levels and two factor two levels in this way one factor six levels five factor three levels i am going to discuss an L16 Taguchi orthogonal array in which four factors at four levels and two factor at two levels. Click here and then click OK. After that, click on the factors to name them. Instead of ABC, I say speed. So I will say speed, feed, depth of cut, width of cut, cutting conditions, and tool type, the last one instead of this. I name them and you can see it here that the levels associated with the first four are 4, 4, 4 and the last two are 2, 2. Okay. Click OK and then in the option there is already done store des design in the worksheet. Click OK and then OK. So you will get a design. Click here to only view data. Now we once you get the design do not enter the response variable right now. Click on stat, then DOE, response surface, analyze response surface design. Although we haven't made any response surface design so far and we are directly going towards the analyze response surface, but this is the way how can you couple it. So click on it. The current worksheet doesn't contain a design created by the mini tab. Yes, we haven't created any response surface design. So before mini tab can analyze your design, you will need to provide some information such as which columns contain the factors. Would you like to provide this information to, so that the mini tab can, analy can analyze the design? So, well, yes, we are willing to do so. Click yes. Now, which one are our continuous factors? Select all of them. These are our continuous factors. After selection, click on this select and they will be moved to a continuous factors. Then click on high, low or high is four, low is one. Yes, it, it's okay and this data is in the coded form click ok then go to design we have nothing to do with it and then ok and ok and then they will say a response surface analyze response surface design we haven't entered over responses so far nothing to do with it just cross it now i have to enter the values of the response variables the mini tab itself created these four column please do not delete them and after these four column paste your response variables okay now go to stat then doe then response surface analyze response surface design okay one thing i am telling you that that in the response surface analysis of the response surface design we we are going to analyze a taguchi design so there will not be enough degrees of freedom you will notice it so terms all of the terms okay first of all i have to enter a response variable so i am selecting ra then go to terms all of the term and quadratic model has been included options nothing to do uh, stepwise it's none so far but it will not work i'm telling you in advance graphs uh, all four in one because we have to analyze the data whether it's following normal distribution or not uh, here i will have to select the expanded tables click ok in the result section and then click ok so uh, click on this button to view output only you can see that we are unable to calculate the t values and the p values and no model summary because we haven't any enough degrees of freedom available for the error term so that we can calculate all of the interactions at the higher level so this is the problem arised now we will have to do it again and slightly changes in the option so again stat doe response surface analyze response surface design in the result section we will have to sorry in the stepwise section we will have to select the method so i'm going to select the forward selection because all of the insignificant term will be removed in this case 
and then click OK and now OK. So in this way we will get our results. Hold on please a second. We got I am clicking here for view output only. So here these are only significant terms in the model. The models first of all we go towards the graphs. So the data is following the normal distribution this graph 1 and 3 is showing this. The graph number 2 it is showing that the number of points above this central dashed line are equal to the number of points below it. So it seems that the variance of the data is almost constant. Further this fourth number graph of the observation order with the residual it is depicting that data does not follow any pattern or any, any cyclic pattern or any continuous 6 or 7 point going towards the up and uh, above and then 6 or 7 point coming down continuously further there are no consecutive 6 or 7 points above this line or below this line. So we have not found any pattern in our data. So data is independent of each other there is no issue of multi collinearity. Then we will go towards ANOVA table and the model summary. So model summary is explaining that these factors that have been included in the model they are explaining 99.56% variation in the RA. Further only the most significant terms have been included in the model just like feed with the p-value of 0.007 that is 0.05 so it is found to be significant. Likewise depth of cut however the width has been included in the model why? because the width at a two-way interaction with the depth of cut is found to be significant. So its main effect has been included in the model. Now I will tell you that we can also make our graphs. So again stat, DOE, response surface, contour plot. You can draw the contour plot between any of your two variables but those variables should be significant as we get only there. So I am saying F and D on the response surface. Click OK and we will get our contour plot. Then we have we can also do the multi objective optimization using this but we will have to analyze both responses. So in that case we now I am going to analyze MRR material removal rate click OK and we will get the results hopefully you can interpret them. Now I am telling you about how we can do the multiple response optimization. So click on response optimizer. This is the most important thing. Now we have to maximize the material removal rate. So go to the goal and select maximize. However, we are we want to minimize the RA surface roughness. Select the minimize and then go to the setup here. It is given that low target upper value weight we have nothing to do with it click OK after that options again nothing to do in the please confirm it that the optimizing plot has been already selected click OK then go to the results it's OK all fine and then OK. So we will get over response optimizer it is a multiple objective optimizer that if we have two objective functions that are contradicting each other we want to maximize one and minimize one. So this function of the mini tab will help us to perform the multiple optimization. So we'll go towards the graph. So this graph is telling that a desirability of 0.9258 has been achieved. That's an attractive one. Okay, now the speed at 8.50, feed 4.0, depth of cut 8.45, width of cut 8.27 and cutting condition 2.5. These settings will maximize the material removal rate and minimize the RA. So hopefully this video will help you in your research work. My WhatsApp number and email has been provided to you. You can contact me anytime. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Bye.